Should I call whack? I know y'all saying on site. All that on site shit, these niggas do. These niggas who's. Let me tell you this. On site is for niggas who got nothing to lose. Whack got a lot of situations to lose, my nigga. You think whack gonna try to be on no flies list, no fly list to attack a nigga, bro? This is why I like a nigga like me. I won't go to a dice game. The nigga who probably shot takeoff, he got nothing to lose. Bro, I've seen niggas shoot in front of cops. They have nothing to lose. You know what I pride myself on? Don't put yourself around niggas who have nothing to lose. A nigga with nothing to lose is going to do anything. Put yourself around people who will at least be like, well, if I do this, I'm fucked up. If you around people would be like, yo, if I do this, I get clout and that's it. Or they might be like, oh, yeah, y'all might get locked up for a little bit, but I'm good. But I get clout. Bro, you don't want to be around those people. This is why I always be questioning rappers. Why are y'all hanging with hood niggas shooting dice? If something happens to you, all they do is just they get locked up, get released, and they got mad clout for doing something to you. All these industry niggas, bro, they not by the jeopardy. Yo, keep in mind, 6 9 which, I mean, he is blackballed in a lot of sense. But you know, he's like, yo, I'm blackballed. Six, yo, me and 6 9 was supposed to go when Austin McBroom was fighting. Um, Who was he fighting? I can't remember. It was Social Gloves. It was Austin McBroom versus some nigga. I'm some TikTok nigga, I think. Yo, Hard Rock banned 6 9 because years ago in 2018, or maybe it was 20, uh, 2018, there was a shooting in the Barclays. Bro, these places are not playing. This ain't a 6 9 conversation. This is a bigger conversation. If you in the industry and you do some dumb shit, venues won't fuck with you. X got jumped at his own concert. And Joey Badass was throwing like a Steez Day event. He wanted X to be on the event. He put X on the event. No insurer would, would actually insure the event. They didn't want X to be on it. What happened? They had to take X off. Bro, these niggas, like, I, this is why we y'all be like acting like, nigga, Lil Baby is a, is a multi-platinum recording artist going everywhere. That nigga ain't doing a motherfucking thing to me. That's exactly why I talk about that. You know the people who, I, who I'm really scared about? The niggas who got nothing to Loose. If I ever see little baby, he could be with twenty million four PF niggas. Something happened out of that. You know what they gonna say? Little baby did something to act, bro. He not about to do that. That's a fact. That's just a fact, bro. There's too much money to be earned. So like, even with this situation, I look at him like, and this is why y'all can tell me. Should I call? I, I call whack. I call whack right now. Did Wack really chase a nigga down? But like, Wack is a manager who has to go all over the place. You're going to go by flight. Are you chasing a nigga down? In the airport, my nigga? In the airport? I owe y'all a shot. I know we're already at 145. I'm going to keep it a bean with you. I ran into Barry. I think I was, I, 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 I don't even think I was saying positive things about it. I ran to Barry and Barry was, I ran to Barry in the airport and Barry said to me, yo, act where your security at? And I, and I really like, I looked at him and I'm like, yo, nigga, I got car service picking me up when I land where I'm going to land. I got security with them. Bro, in the airport with these niggas, first of all, you don't have no gun. Like you, first of all, I'm not scared of no rapper with a, without a gun. I'm, I'm really scared of nobody without a gun. They're like, oh, where is your security? Nigga, the most you could do is try to jump me, nigga. First of all, I'm like three times your weight. You ain't really about to just do me like no little nigga. Facts. Second of all, you're probably not flying with that many niggas. Se third of all, nigga, anything y'all do, nigga, y'all about to just not, y'all going to go on a no-fly list. Nigga, I be in the airport safe as hell by my damn self. Nigga, 6 9 fly by himself. When he's not flying private, he fly. Bro, you got to be a dumbass nigga to be in the airport fighting, bro. I'm telling you the facts. Now, granted, if a smart nigga might be like, all right, yo, I just seen a nigga who we really want to get. 
I bet. So what we're going to do. Let's get out the airport. You post up over here. You post up over here. Follow that nigga from the airport. Or let's get him once we out the airport space. You get out the airport space, TSA and... Bro, they treat everything like niggas is about to create bombs. Like, you don't want to fight on the airport. So this is why I listen to the story with Wack, and I'm like, the fuck? Should we call Wack? Should we call Wack? It's what's it called, huh? Should I call Wack? Twitch is saying yes. What's YouTube saying? Oh, YouTube ain't busting today. YouTube only got like 5,000 people. Twitch really got... Twitch got the sauce. YouTube's only busting when we over like six, 7,000. All right. Should I call Wack? I'm looking at Twitch. Should I call Wack? Okay, before we call Wack, before we call Wack, hold on. We're going to call him, right? It be trick. I walked away. Trick, trick out his water. Damn. This oh, real shit. But what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is like, that was like, it was a real table at one time to where we knew what was. Okay, anyway, basically you say he ran out on the future, right? Big U put the statement out today. He said, and by the way, Big U and Wack hasn't been seen out of eye. Big U said, I have never. By the way, why do, like, I just want to put it out there, I'm pussy, so, like, none of you gangsters would get at me. But why do gangster niggas type, first of all, gangster niggas use the most emojis, the most colorful emojis, and their grammar is crazy. I, period, have, period, never, period, been, period, in, period, LAX, period, Airport period with whack period nor did period we ran down on future fact then the the I've never seen this emoji which that's what I'm saying like yo the old niggas be really got some emojis the look down I wish I would get it in y'all head these people lie all day ten percent truth ninety percent them dot 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 this is the um um. Stop or or I ain't, I don't know what the fuck you want, Jesus. I hate how no matter what someone say about Big U, it's just true. When is the hate gonna stop? I made one mistake that was building with a. What are you talking about right there? You say made one mistake it was building with. Hmm? Building with a what? And for that, B's and C's, I'm sorry. Holy. It's all for instant. Okay. Should we call Wack? Now nah, we could call Wack. I need a poll. Are we calling Wack or not? YouTube, Twitch. YouTube, Twitch, I, I know we got, um, yeah, YouTube and Twitch, yeah, we got Facebook a little bit. I call whack. Yo, I got to get a mixer, bro. I'm about to be drunk. Hold on. Yo, make a poll real quick. I'm about to grab a Red Bull or something like that, man. That, fuck that bitch ass nigga Aiden, man. By the way, I'll do all y'all a shot, but hold up, man. I got to make sure I'm good.
mixed it, but I don't. Oh, we got some water. We'll just drink some water, Texas. Y'all did a poll? Come on, now. <laughs> Somebody said, fuck it, I need some. I got water. We good. Anyway, am I calling Wack or not? I got to call Wack. I got to call Wack. Y'all ready? Y'all can hear I'm going to turn it up for y'all. Don't worry. Wack! What up, bro? Wack, I'm on stream. Whack, everybody's on my ass, man. My what? They saying that the clip, there's a clip, like you you know the clip. It's a clip you you talking about, you know I me, mean, some shit that went on. Future, airport. Everybody's like everybody's like, yo, this shit was cap. What the fuck? Right. This funny. was on our way to Atlanta. He played the deck the next night. Whack. What is it? What up? Is the, Whack, I'm going to be honest with you. And this is what I can vouch for everybody. Anything Whack has told me, sometimes, you see, Whack is a nigga who heals. Anything he say, y'all might not want to accept it as true, but it went on. There's a lot of shit. What the fuck it is, bro? Like, what the fuck is the big deal? Well, you whoop his ass or that. I mean, he ain't, he was, bro, he was having problems in L.A. that whole month. I think they tried to rush the nigga out the club. It was all kind of shit going on with him behind that shit, bro. He was having problems that whole month behind that shit. Real shit. I think people think you didn't chase him down in the airport, though. The airport's. I, him the airport. I, mean, I trotted him down and he ran into one of them fucking, uh, you know, the shit that you walk in to connect to the plane? Yeah, the, the little. The it, little... Wasn't no pl- it wasn't no plane. <laughs> no way. Yo, Wack, are you serious? Yeah, real shit. Wack, no I've way. never known you to be a liar. Everything you've ever told me. It really bears there's no truth. Leader, there's no, bro, there's no lead to love. I mean, I didn't whoop his ass or nothing. I really just wanted to have a conversation. He kind of like trotted away because I think he knew. Why was he so scared? If if, if that would happen, why why would he run? You got to be cut. Look, he, look, real shit. That whole month, he had been catching flack by shit. I don't know if you remember. And what year was this shit? Because there was a war going on in the street between two neighborhoods. That's one of the reasons why we was kind of going that way. What, what, Shit, what you said when he was with Sierra, that was probably, um, yeah. got to be like eight years ago type shit. Like maybe 2013. Yeah, he was with Sierra like a motherfucker. That's who he was with. Like she was there. Um, yeah, 2014, 2015 probably. Something like that. Yeah, we didn't say nothing to the nigga. I mean, to her. Like, like, like we were trying to rob the nigga. We really were trying to have a conversation with the nigga because he had a debt with broke. And uh, he, you know, it got paid the next day. A certain person paid the debt. Real talk, but I mean, what's the big deal? Well, well Big U said it ain't happen, and I think that's why. Well, you know, big U, Big U, mad at me. So anything I say, he don't say. Did you hear him say uh, he is the algorithm? He don't understand. The only reason why his name popped up because it tied to mine or something. Mm. Uh, it's real shit, right? So he was the fuck with me. We drove. Actually, we drove to the airport. I picked him up in his neighborhood. We drove to the airport in my fucking Porsche. We called a Delta flight. That flight that's like a commercial flight. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whack. He said he never been in. That's the first thing he said. He said I've never been in LAX. Let me ask you something, bro. Eighteen years, me and this man fucked around. You think we never been to LAX together? Some shit. Niggas get angry. They say weird shit that just don't add up. But uh, uh, I mean, that's, that's that's a good point too. Yeah, but, he was uh, at the time. So when we got there, you know, I stayed at the um, Lowe's and um, Tubby came to see me. He was staying with, uh, what's the basketball player nigga name? Um, damn, what's the nigga name? He always be with him. He retired right now. Is it Josh something? Is Josh Smith a back? I don't be keeping up with sports. Yeah, there's a nigga named Josh Smith. There's a nigga. Josh Smith, is he retired? Yeah, he don't play no more. He don't play no more, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He real close to Big U. He went over to his house. I remember because at that time, I came back before him. I remember because I cut him a check. Because uh, they was over there looking for football helmets and 
showed a pass for his pop one of the team looking through books. I cut him a check before I left for like 2500 I mean, but I don't understand what the fuck the big deal is. I think I think the perception of future, everybody looking like, and also with Big U saying they're like, oh, Wack just made us out up out of the blue. When I saw it yesterday, I was like, is this old? Well, let me tell you something about men, right? And you know, it ain't like, I didn't make nothing on the deal. I didn't do nothing to the next. You know, back then, we was really running that round table. And like, you know, we was really on top of our territories. And, you know, niggas we fucked with, if it was something crossing, we was on it, right? We ain't do nothing to him. We ain't whoop your nigga ass. You train no gangster thug ass nigga. He just had a debt. And we knew he had a debt elsewhere. And we seen him and we addressed the shit. Actually, Vic, you kind of like, he didn't go with me. You know, he it didn't take two of us. I wouldn't have chased the nigga down if he wouldn't have tried it away. You know, it ain't like the fuck. You talking about 2014, 2015, nigga. It was a different move. You got whack and Big U, nigga. And you know some shit going on with bro up here. Nigga, you know, especially if there's already been some chatter in the street, niggas didn't approach you. He had an issue at a club maybe like a week or two before that. I'm going to go for the blog and find it. He was catching a flag, right? Behind mm. him. He just happened to run it to the nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know that same Delta flight everybody take going to, um, to Atlanta overnight. But, you know, I don't put too much uh, what Big you talking about. You know what I'm saying? You know, because at the end of the day, it's a lot. He put me on and all this weird ass shit. How you put me on, nigga? You what? What you on doing? You, was Future by himself? It was. He was just with Sierra. Uh, wherever that girl name was. Oh yeah, yeah. And wherever oh, the girl shit. is with the ball player. That's what he was. Wait, hold on, hold on. It's no way Future ran left her. Like he didn't. He, not no, he run, but like her. stepped away. Oh, from he left her. He left her. He definitely left her. And he, and he called us. He called the individual on the phone. And he talked the phone, then the motherfucker, whatever you call it, shit, connected the plane. Wasn't nobody even, he ran in that thing, wasn't nobody even in there. <clears throat> when I heard the voice, I honored the voice on the other end. Yo, whack, he threw a phone at you, my nigga? With Berman on the phone? <clears throat> he definitely threw the phone at me. Stunner didn't know what was going on. And once I heard his voice, it didn't matter what was going on at that time. He said he had business with the man to leave it alone. He had squared up, and that's what it was. Wasn't no name calling, wasn't no... Robbing or threatening or none of that shit. So I don't know what the fuck the big deal is. All right. So 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 now so now I'm gonna use my my own like quote unquote industry brain. I'm gonna say this right, and then I want you to answer. Let's it say was, no, like, it was like some punk shit. Like I don't know, ten twelve thousand, bro. What even? <clears throat> but nothing crazy. It was just it, it was a debt that nigga was ignoring calls and that type of shit. All right. So, so let me say this to you because you and me both know. There's a lot of shit that's happened in this industry that the the public don't know about, right? But a in, whole lot of shit. A whole lot of shit, right? Huh. And 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 it's never. And honestly, if they heard it now, they would be in disbelief. I'm wondering why you said this because you know now, you know where future is at in his career. Now people are gonna be like, but we not about to believe that. Like we would have heard it, but in reality, there's a lot of shit that happened in the industry that well, niggas it never heard. To hurt future anyway, because. You know, it, was, it wasn't no big deal. Like, did nothing happen to the nigga. Like, why, why would he, what's the, why would it fix his career? Future's future. He's a fucking artist. Yeah, but, but, yeah, but fans look at these artists as, as gangsters, man. I'm going to be honest. Man, they can't look at Future as a gangster. I've never seen Future portray yourself as a gangster. So if a fan is that much of a bozo to look at a motherfucking dog and make him a motherfucking monkey, that's on that dumbass fan. I've never mm. seen Future portray himself as nothing but fucking Future. Now, if you want to make Future, I look at the nigga, the nigga's a fashion statement. The nigga made great music. He's a motherfucking writer. If you want to look at Future like he's some motherfucking uh, Floyd Mayweather in the motherfucking ring and make him a fucking professional boxer, that's on your dumb ass. Yo. Future's not a fucking gangster, bro. I've never heard, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I've never heard him portray to be a gangster. Hey, ooh. Like, I didn't even want, like, I, I should have really hit you right before I posted, but, but anyway, yo, d when shit like this happens, do mad people be hitting your phone? Like, is it pressure for you? Like, I, I never know. Hey, no motherfucking pressure for me. Pressure bus pipe, bro. I'm the pipe. Ain't nobody, bro. You don't understand in my world, bro. Either it's on or it's off. I don't, ain't nobody called me about nothing, bro. I don't hit it. I don't even hit the same shit. It probably was a conversation on Clubhouse just popped up. You know what I mean? I probably was. Yeah. No, I don't. Shit, I ain't even gonna lie to you. A couple people from, like, you know, when I posted a couple people. even the first time. You know what? 
I mentioned this shit a couple months ago, and uh, I forgot I mentioned it because I got a call about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, I got definitely got a call about it. Yeah, you know, not- it's a few people in this industry that I respect, and uh, you know, no matter how I feel about shit, if they call me and ask me to chill out or whatever, I definitely would, no matter what's going on. It's a handful of them, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I definitely got to call about it. Yeah, yeah. I probably really shouldn't have brought it up again. Now that I think about it, I got to call about this. The yeah. last time I brought it up, probably like eight, nine months ago or so. But I didn't bring it up to like shit on future. Nothing, you know, future's a hell of a guy. Yeah, I ain't meet you. Yeah, I ain't got no issue with you. It was just a conversation. You know, the truth can never be considered disrespect. You always say that, but... but... talking about, man, dude, 55, 56, 57 years old. We had our little thing. with a nice one, nigga. Do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. If you want to sit there and lie, nigga, you been lying about all kinds of shit. Live your life. You know what I'm saying? Before I start talking about the truth. Because I can send you some shit, academics, that'll fuck your head up about that truth. Yeah. That'll fuck you up to make you get offline right now. Hey, 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 Wack. I've known that when you girl, tell... You know about me, bro. Hold on. I know when you say some shit, you got right, some I shit, and... I chill. Life too short, bro, to be telling lies, living a lie, and all this other shit, bro. I got well, 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 shit. Well, well, I'm gonna be honest real, though. Ain't, ain't, bro. Well, I'm gonna be honest though. You, you know this is rap, and you, you a manager too. You know a lot of people live in perception, and also, you know what I mean? Like, like honestly, that's even somehow, kind of how even that that situation with Quavo will happen. Like when when people have a perception. People don't want the perception to be changed or niggas to be looking like they taking an L. What you get a perception like? What, what, what kind of perception with them? You know, them well, boys. the perception with Future is that he wouldn't be like a no nigga ain't checking him about shit. I'm going to be honest. So I've it's never, like. I've, I've never seen him put up that type of persona. What? Um, no, no, you know that. No, yo, yo I, when people I, think I, about I, Future, I, like I'm not saying they think he the toughest I, nigga. I, I, it's just I, that. I'm just on, I've never seen Future put up no. Super hard, tough guy. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you, type of person. I, I, that's just me. I have it. I mean, I ain't never seen him do that. Well, I, I don't put- hear it in his music. I kind of like. I mean, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. You hear it in his music? Uh, I don't see that. Well, I think what a lot of people think is that he wouldn't be like. This is what people don't realize, like, right? So a lot of the street elements, like, you know what I mean? You're more in tune with and like, that's been your life for a long time. They're never thinking a rapper is ever going to be getting pressure from a nigga like you. I'm going to keep it real with you. Like, if a rapper raps raps like you from the street, they're going to assume, and I also assume, that if you see him at the airport, he got 20 people with him, why can't say a motherfucking thing? It was just him and her. He ain't had 20 people with him. He was just him and her, bro. I ain't gonna front. He ain't had none of that with him. And even if he would have had that with him, it would have been a conversation. Because that's what we were trying to have, a conversation. Like, bro, you can't, you're not gonna just be seen and you know bro up there. And that is cool. So why he start speed walking off unless he thought you was gonna do something to him? Because I said, hey, homie, I need to holler at you. Oh. And at that time... I, and I wasn't there, but people was telling me that he had been approached a few times at club. I don't know if they tried to rush him or something had happened like within that last week to 10 days of uh, seeing him and out here in L.A. If I go to the blogs, I can find him in Hollywood. He was catching a little flat. No, no, hold on. I, I, I'm going to figure out the time. I mean, so you say he was with Sierra. If you tell me what year, I'll figure out every headline around it. Yeah, I'm telling you, at that time, Within that week or ten days, he had, had some shit going on out here in these Hollywood and these clubs. But he had ran into some issues. Now I didn't know, you know, if you know, because bro got reached. You know, I don't know if that's what it was or what. But you know, I didn't know the nigga at the time that I hadn't had no working relationship with him. So you know, I wasn't even expecting him to do what he did. Mm. And then, like I said, hey, bitch ass nigga, none of that type of shit. Hey, homie, I need to holler at you. And he kind of like, I don't know if he ran the energy or what he ran. You know, we in the motherfucking airport. I don't want to do nothing to nigga in the airport. But yeah, I, yo, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, yo, if, because I'm thinking you were like. Even, bro, but it was, you know, and, you know, at the end of the day, guess what? We all on the same plane any motherfucking way. Everybody going to the A. That's what so I was thinking. I'm like, like, if you like, chasing like, him like, down. 
it's like a 10 40 11 o'clock delta flight that's a red eye that's a red eye we all know that la to, to atlanta in the first class it got the it got the um the international you know when you lay all the way flat like shut up right I'm yeah oh no no whack but be honest with me because i i said i said this on my stream before he, like okay, even if he ain't like step away or like start trotting, whatever he did, right? You not about to do nothing to no nigga in no airport now. Like you gotta fly. Like, like, see, this is where the media start turning shit up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do to nigga in the airport? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, they gonna put you on no fly list. You beat a nigga's ass up in there, do some crazy shit. Uh, bro, I mean, I, 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 I just hear the start swinging on me and some shit like that. But yeah, I if you defend my, yourself, that's good. That, uh, that, that was my, do nothing. It's fucking future, bro. But word is out that hey, this is going on. Y'all niggas running to him. Holla at it. Do what it is. Mm. If they listen, it's two niggas for sure. No, I ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? And it's another nigga that paid the debt. Well, well, big you say, big you say they happened, and he was with you. Hey, Rick, you going to say anything against Wack right now. Man, that dude over there, salty, grimy. Nigga, he's doing whatever he do for his money. I'm up two, three hundred million. I ain't giving a fuck about what that dude talking about, bro. Snake ass nigga. Bro, he going to keep talking. I'm going to expose some shit. Hey, bro, go talk about them contracts, bro, you sent me to rob that man that, that the world love. Like, you better stop talking before I send them to you, Act. Wait, wait. Yeah, wait bro, which bro. man? Whoa, which man? Yeah, you better stop talking, bro. Like, niggas, all right, one thing you know about me, bro. I keep that shit. And I got the time days right there, bro. Wait, wait. Black don't delete text messages. But you wouldn't be involved in robbing no, no, no like, uh, rap. Okay. I'm, I'm going to okay. leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. But shit. Okay, you better yeah. leave me alone, bro, for we have a whole big old fiasco. God. Yeah, damn. Yo, so what? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, I, you want to take 30% from a dead man, nigga, but you didn't say nothing to him about it when he was here. Nigga better leave me alone, bro. Oh, I'm doing my shit. I'm minding my business. I'm selling my diapers. I'm pushing my music. I'm out the way. Leave me the fuck alone, nigga. For nigga, you want to talk? You want to lie? I can put some more truth on the table. Yes. On Paul Rook. Because the shit I got, I ain't supposed to have. And it's show where it come from. 40 days after a man in the grind. Man, nigga better stop playing with me, act. I'm going to leave that like that, bro. I'm going to slow down before I get mad. One thing about you know about me, Yak. And it is the one thing I know about Wack. It, 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 you, the moment you got to stop talking to Wack is when he be like, yo. Be like, wait, you want me to show you the paperwork? Just be like, nah, are you good. I believe you. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> it's going to get uglier from there. We, we don't want to see no proof. It's good. We got you. God damn. Yo, I mean, whatever you got with Big, Big U, I hope you. I don't even do. I got it. A few other people got it. Just in case. Yeah, I got it. Like, nigga better stop playing with me, bro. I don't pay. T See, all Big U showed me is that he's still paying attention to me. I don't know what the fuck he doing. Don't give a fuck. The fact that he put up any post about what lets me know you're still paying attention to me. Well, well hold on, Wack. You did bring him into the story, though. You said it was him and you. I mean, so. I was just telling him. He was it. It was me and him, my nigga. That's it. So, hundred percent, him. It's not nobody else. It's not mistaken I identity. Him up from his house. Matter of fact, I think we dropped his homie off at his house. His homie Hop was with him. Dropped him off. Was in my white Porsche. I still got the Porsche. Still got it in the fucking garage. Been parked. Ain't drove the motherfucker for years. A Panamera. Oh, man. I well, I just hold on. The, wait, wait, hold on. The, yeah, go, but go, whack, go. whack. To play devil's advocate, right? Suppose Big U is like. I right, maybe it happened, but bro, like, why are you even saying this? Like, I'm not trying to embarrass the nigga. I'm a, I'm gonna just put out. What's embarrassing about it, bro? He had a daddy, owed a man, bro. Like he owed the man. Bro, you chasing a nigga in the airport, and it's we thinking future. Like we look at future like a boss, a street nigga. Like, uh, yo, but future, bro. Like, bro, when has future ever been a street nigga, bro? I ain't saying you don't come from the gutter, the ghetto. But y'all put this nigga like he been to the penitentiary for five years, came out, shot three niggas over here and stabbed a nigga in the motherfucking mall. Y'all got to cut that shit out, bro. Nigga, he made a song called Stick Talk. We believe the nigga. Y'all got to stop, like, on some real shit, put more on people, boy, that should be there, bro. That's some bullshit, because that ain't who that man is. You know, and just because a nigga ain't a street nigga, let's, 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 let's really clarify this shit. 
Just because a nigga ain't a street nigga don't make him a man. I know some non-street niggas got to fuck a street nigga up. Why is everybody so caught up on a nigga got to be a street nigga? What is the image? The niggas right now. The street niggas is the ones telling broke at, at their mama house. What the fuck is this? He a street nigga, not a street nigga shit. And they want to make every nigga a street nigga. Well, the only reason I'm saying that is because if this was known, a lot of shit that Future said niggas would put in question. Because, what like, say? huh? What did he say? He does with everybody else, bro. They, 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 they rap. Nah, they nah, them. nah. They if you listen to bro. Future, niggas ain't I fucking with him. Y'all niggas are so stupid. If a nigga was really talking about what he was doing, they all be in jail. It's incrimination. That is true. Nah, I'll give you that one. The fuck <laughs> I'll give you that Denzel one. Denzel Washington, my nigga. I'll give you that niggas, one. What the fuck you got? You got a nigga sitting here writing music to a beat, nigga. He going to talk about what he seen, what he heard. Exaggerate some shit. The fuck are you? How many niggas we seen act nigga with the jury nigga pull up and they give him a thousand to put on twenty forty thousand dollars of jury and this nigga this come on the fuck out of here, bro. Like, that, bro, that's on these dummies, these fans. Who want to make a motherfucker something he ain't, homie? Damn. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I don't, I don't put future on the side of game when it comes to the streets. I just don't. And even game gonna tell you about the way. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. Well, I mean, you giving an interesting perspective because what are you talking about? hold on, yo, yo, whack. I'm gonna keep, Drake. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. You don't put Drake on the side of Meek Mill, bro. No, okay, okay, but I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. Like, hold on, hold on. Whack. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. Wait, does Drake not talk that shit? Yeah, but Pray yeah. daddy, love him to death. Listen to his music every day. But if you look at Meek Mill, right? Well, you know we can go to the shit, and you know, like this little grimy nigga was running around doing shit. You know, with the braids, right? Yeah. Really? Right? Okay, yeah, okay. I'm gonna give him that, and I don't really necessarily fuck with me, but I'm gonna keep a gangster, right? I'm gonna give him that. Y'all niggas keep making these niggas something out that they not, and what he gonna do? Come out and say, "Hey, I'm not a street nigga." You only got one artist that has ever done that. Do you know what artist that is? Uh, He's from the West Coast. Wait, who came out and said he's not a street nigga? Who? DJ Quick. He got a song called it. Talking about I'm not a gangster. Oh. You a gangster? No, I'm not. I'm not a gangster. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. And this is after he put out a bunch of street shit. Nigga changed his ways and changed his world. I respect it. Love quick to death. Right? Now you run across a nigga like Dub C. You just gonna, he just gonna be a fight. You don't give a fuck how many of y'all it is. You know, I'm just gonna give you real authentic motherfuckers. Right? But y'all gotta stop Wow, I'm going to keep it 100. Yeah, I'm going to be blamed too because I, when I think about future, I think about a street nigga. The nigga he, he, yo, he's, he got a song called Trap Nigga. He got a, call, a song he got called what? Stick. He got a song called what? Trap Nigga. He talk about stick talk. Bruh, he rapping like niggas should not play with him. I'm going to keep it. Let me ask you a question. What? Would you say Gucci Mane's a street nigga? Yeah. You put Future and Gucci Mane in the same lane when it comes to the streets? Fuck out of here. Nah, but but like... That's what I'm saying, bro. Gucci's a street nigga. Documented. Fuck what he talking about. He didn't did it. Beat it, bought it, went, all that. Bro, it's just real shit. But here go the thing. Why is niggas glorifying? Well, you got to be a street nigga to be this. Because the street niggas is broke niggas. I can't wait until a nigga come out with I'm a square nigga. They need to make the square nigga popular because they're the ones with the money, the cars, the that's women. Not, I mean, that's kind of true. It's just real shit. Once upon a time, bro, the artist was up under the street nigga. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Now, the street nigga is bowing down and being son and told what to do by the artist. Yeah, yeah, this is a new wave right now. That's a new wave, yeah. Yeah, so, in the day, we ain't, I ain't said nothing to say. Future of punk, I ain't been around a man. I know the man, he, 
say whether he a punk or not. He seemed like a good dude. Hold on. But what you said, though, makes it seem like you were punking him. Like, if you got him trying to get away from him. Because I didn't go in his pockets. I didn't say, fuck that, what you got right now. It wasn't even about that. Because if it was that serious, the, the sound of somebody's voice wouldn't have, you know, deactivated everything. Nigga just got to let presence know, like, bro, you need to take care of that. You know what I'm saying? Yo, 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 this is what my audience saying, right? They say, yo, how is Future not a street nigga? He was a big drug dealer. He got shot twice. He, I, I think Future said he got shot. I don't know. I think so. No, look, I don't know about a man getting shot, but who said he was a drug? Who said he was a big drug dealer? Well, I what? guess I guess people taking that through his music, like, yo, his music. Uh, music is art, right? It's expression, right? Yeah. Do you think everything a nigga right in that studio is realistic? That that, that up for them? I'm That's a lot of cap. Realistic, not not happening. I'm not saying it's not happening in life in the world. But are you saying that everything a motherfucker artist is writing that it, it's really the description of what they've done? Nigga be all kind of motherfucking indictments, investigations open right now. Hmm. Now I mean, no, you you're right about that because like I've always said, it's like. These days, people have been saying that a lot of the rappers who were incarcerated, they just really was trying to do the street shit. And I always wondered about the older rappers. I'm like, uh, who, who, bro? Shine went. Who went and did a real stress that was mainstream? These niggas got to stop talking out their fucking ass, bro. All right, hold on. Yeah, I'm going to give you an example, right? Who Shiesty locked up, right? And a lot of people like, oh, he a street nigga. He just he Okay, yeah. Who just went? Okay, well, well, I'm gonna be honest with you. A lot of people compare like a pool shiesty to a lot of these other dudes that who just never went to jail. Maybe they was maybe they were smart. Maybe they were smart. Look, I met Pooh twice. Listen, I met the youngster twice. My advice to Pooh, I pulled up on him, like really pulled up on him. You know what I'm saying? Swear to God, him and his little crew, like four of these little niggas, was doing a video shoot. I think what uh, damn, what's that nigga name? It's gonna come to me. Sign E1, old school rapper. Um, part of Three Six Mafia. Um, part of Three Six Mafia. Part of Three Six Mafia. Um, obviously not Juicy hey, J. Uh, Juicy J. Okay, okay. Juicy J got a video with Pooh Shiesty. He did it like probably about three months before Pooh went to jail, right? Out here in uh, Simi Valley. Pulled up on Pooh. These little niggas in there. They got duffel bag, four hundred thousand in. You know what I'm saying? These niggas wilding. I say, nephew, slow down. Right, the little nigga bought that shit. <clears throat> his crew bought that shit. His daddy is street niggas. You know what I'm saying? His daddy a Don Moo from Bonnie Hooks. Just out that way, right? So, nah, I don't put really that. You know what I'm saying? He, that's what it is with him. I'm going to be real. Maybe I'm wrong, bro. I don't see future as, you know, this fucking street thug motherfucker. You know, that's not a bad thing. I don't see Drake. That. Nah, but 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 we look at Drake different, yo. We look at the same way we look at Future. We look at Lil Baby. We look at a lot of them dudes. Be like, yo, come on, bro. Don't look, Lil Baby on a mile of his own. Very authentic. Definitely a hustler. Definitely. They hustlers and street niggas. It's the same thing. Like they hustling in the streets. Hold on. If you hustle in the streets, are you not a street nigga? Bro, bro, listen. You know how many street niggas ain't hustlers and how many hustlers ain't street niggas? But if you hustle in the streets, ain't you a street nigga? No, no, it depends on what you're talking about, bro. Because if you that, then why does a hustler got to go in his pocket and pay that motherfucking wolf to stand with it to keep the other niggas from getting it? Oh, I mean, I, 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 I get you know it. what we talking about, bro. Like, let's just be real. Every like, bro, like, niggas be putting these stigmas on people and this shit like they like, this status quo that has to be there. I'm going to be real. I don't, man, I frown on the street, nigga. Nigga, I don't even pay you niggas no mind. I'm going to be honest, niggas, though. Niggas, Future I'm probably going to holler at you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to convert. Yeah, yeah, else. yeah. Do you look at it like, yo, Future probably going to try to holler at you about this? Be like, yo, damn, why, why, why you, like, damn. Yeah, like, yo, bro, like, why are you even saying this shit right now? Like, like, even if it did happen, you like, yo, bro. Future don't feel the need to holler at me about it. The same reason why academics, if I told you, Nigga, we took the elevator down and you walked me to my car. Yeah. Nigga say, put it up because you're not mad because you're mad at me. Nigga, I wasn't even with you, nigga. Because he says it on the internet, right? Act. Me and you know you walked me to my car. It actually started raining when we was outside. Me and you know that. Yeah. So even though, regardless of what you said to the world, 
what me and you know? You think you're going to address me when you see me about something we both know? Yeah, no, nah, okay, okay, okay. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Fuck what a nigga say to the world. Yo, you going to... Because all that nigga whack line, he was definitely out my spot. You know. I did walk whack out. She was called. I actually started raining. Nigga was like, you know what I'm saying? So now when you going to see me, you're going to be like, yo, whack, what's up? You For what? All that is is asking for a problem that don't need to be. Man, the truth is never considered disrespect, bro. So, you know, I don't know what they trying to pump it up to be. This is the first time I got a call about this shit. I didn't think nothing else about it. I ain't saying future a punk or none of that shit. Now, yo, online they was trying to roll with a narrative like, yo, oh, whack is lying. And I'm like, I don't know whack to be a liar, so let me get some clarification. Not online. So you got a you got a clown nigga over here. Anything he can do to try to pass a bad shot on me, he gonna do. You know what I mean? I don't worry about him. I'm bigger than what he's talking about. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He can do what he does. Obviously, he paying attention to me. I ain't paying no attention to him. Cause I just learned what you saying right now. He ain't even on my radar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Unless a nigga standing in front of me, I don't give a fuck what a nigga doing. I don't give a fuck what a nigga saying. As long as you ain't on them cameras, on the side of my whip or standing in front of me where it gotta be that, I don't give a fuck what you talking about. Talk all you talking. I ain't got time to be talking about you because I'm talking to these other people about my bag, my wife. It, 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 it looked like, like I think you told talking about Big U, but Big U, like he put a statement in there, right? He says... He says, I made one mistake that was because I was building with the, and he put a, just a space there. And the only thing I kept thinking in my head, I'm like, Yo, what the fuck is he trying to, he's obviously well, talking you to you. Know the thing, though, right? You got out of jail, nigga. You came to the power rules. The power rules didn't go to you. You came to Death Row. Death Row didn't go to you. You came over there to eat. When you went to jail, nigga, for that shit you went to jail for, nigga, it was Pete Funk went over there and got the attorneys and did all that shit and all that shit, nigga. When you went to jail another time, nigga, was another P for myself that all this shit. So you act like you put me on. I was already over there. So what, what is he saying? He ain't gave me no cut, bro. Dude, and I say this is stand on it. Dude ain't never put a dime on my table, but I didn't let him eat several times. I didn't let, I didn't connect him to my resources several times. Hmm. Like, I guarantee, I, I challenge him to name one thing that he's put on my table that I plugged into that I prospered from. Nigga, I was the one getting the call. Yo, bro, could you bring Ray J to the thing for the scooty bikes for the kids? Yo, bro, could you bring this dude over here? Yo, bro, hey, could you get corrupt on the Korean show over here? Nigga, show fall out, I let him keep the bag. Yo, bro, could you do this? Yo, bro, K Slay, could you give me that hookup? Yo, bro, we trying this show. Come on, bro, with that shit, bro. Nigga, put something in front of me that you said whack. I said you threw it. Yo, 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 why, why aren't why why are you in big? You I thought I thought I ain't gonna lie to you. I thought the whole thing was maybe he didn't agree when you know what I mean. You obviously was doing some business with Six Nine. I thought he just didn't fuck with that, but it seemed like he don't fuck with you at all. That, bro. I wouldn't give a fuck about he fuck with Ti. Everybody say he's a rat. So nigga, you fuck with Ti. I didn't give a fuck about you doing that, nigga. So. Don't worry about it, nigga. You really hang with this nigga, so why are you worried about who I'm doing an interview with? I don't worry about the fuck you interviewing with. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, no, no, no. T.I. and 6 9 people look at different, though. How? 12 months a day. <clears throat> Go pull up the mandatory. You like to do research, right? Go see what his charges was. Nah, I ain't want to look that up. Nah, no, whack. I ain't want to look that up, man. No, fuck <laughs> that. And finally, go pull up what the mandatory minimum was to those charges, right? Yeah. And you tell me, a mandatory minimum in the feds means this. This case carries from five years to 20 years. Five years being a mandatory minimum to this case. You cannot get less than five. Everybody know what that 12-month a day stands for. And you can't access it because it's sealed. So I ain't had nothing, you know, proud of what you do. What you do, what you do is industry shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what that is. So what? Yeah. Damn. Did I ever hide fucking with uh, interviewing 6 9 Nah. Fine. Nah, you know? he didn't. Because he hit on the thing we both know. And you know this shit, act. 
<clears throat> I ain't justifying nothing six nine did. He did what he did, and he stands on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, everybody want to fake and fun like he run around with a SWAT team. Man, you both know that not to be true, right? Yeah, so, I, 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 yo, I, 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 I give you, I give you the credit. You definitely said, all right, cool. If we gonna vilify six nine, what about everybody else? So we keeping the same hey, no, energy. Six nine was looking at forty one years, right? Yeah. That nigga phone wasn't tapped. He didn't sell nothing to the police. He didn't buy nothing to, from the police. This is what's crazy to me. In order for him to be looking at forty one years as the kingpin. Somebody had to tell the people and identify his them doing certain things, right? Why everybody why everybody acting like they don't know that some of them very same people that's supposed to be street niggas is the very some of the very same motherfucking people, bro, who point the figure at this man, bro. This shit, where's why I don't respect it? It's selective politics. Depending on who got the popularity vote, bro. It's who motherfuckers gonna ride with or ride against. I'm a lone wolf, it don't matter to me. Who fucking with me, fuck with me, who ain't ain't. I came into this world alone. I'm gonna leave alone. I got people that love me, people that hate me. That's life. The, does this make it hard? I was thinking about it, right? Like, say Game or say Blueface want to get a song with like Future now. They might be like, man, that's their relationship. Man, I don't interfere with their relationship. Same relationship, bro. I don't. Do you, I don't never had no conversation with my artists about who to work with, who not to work with. I'll be out of line. Do you ever say, you know what, let me just keep neutral because I don't want a nigga to turn down a feature with my artist because they don't fuck with me. If they got a relationship with my artist, they got a relationship with my artist, whether I like it or not. I'm going to respect whatever it is my artist is doing, bro. Mm. I'm not going to tell them, hey, fuck, dude. I'm not none of that, bro. I'd be a weirdo to do some more dumb shit like that. These niggas is sentimentally and emotionally weird to me. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, I look like. Telling my artist who do a song with. I, I, I think I think some dude you know is in here. I don't even know if I should read it. Uh, you know some dude named Eban Films or something? Oh, that's a weird. You know that weirdo nigga. That's the weirdo nigga from Clubhouse. I ran off Clubhouse. I, I've, I've, heard, I've, heard, I've heard his name when you talk on Clubhouse before. Did you know his voice if you hear it because I, I told him to stop talking to him. He tried to say some weird shit to you. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> we okay. ran a dude on Clubhouse. I used to have a tribe to go into his room. He irritated me, so I stopped going over there. Took about six weeks. He went from four, five hundred to about eighteen people, and then he finally just shut his shit down. You know, mm. so that whack one hundred shit is a gift and a curse. God damn! Now, now I ain't gonna lie. Every, everybody reacting to it. Everybody, re yo, whack. You know how to. Well, here's the funny thing too, though, and and this is why, like, I'm wondering how you decide to like put stuff. I remember when you told me some stuff privately, right? I mean, I mean, Hassan later put it out, but I remember saying if Wack ever said this publicly, like people would be shocked. But also, not only would people be shocked, Wack could have every proof in the world. People won't want to accept that to be true because a lot of the shit when it comes to the entertainment business is about narratives and facades, and you know what people already believe is gonna be real. That nobody wants to accept nothing that they don't. Like, about your favorite rapper or about your, somebody you fuck with, you don't want to hear nothing that don't support them. Man, I didn't hurt motherfuckers. I ain't going to even lie. I'd have been at the table with niggas made up stories on niggas, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, depending on who you dealing with, who you fucking with. So, I don't take a lot of this shit serious anyway. You know what I mean? A lot of these niggas be mad because you be ahead of them. And the only way they know you're ahead of them because they paying attention to you. I don't pay attention to... I'm not in competition with nobody, bro. I just do what I do on the daily, make happen the things I need to make happen, and I keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? You want to have a conversation, we have a conversation. You know, but, you know, like at the end of the day, it's a whole lot of shit I can start playing with. I've been trying to be cool, but I did one more thing, I'm going to start flaming some shit up. Yeah. And, and ask, when I tell you I got it, I got it. I mean, what... I know you be. I know you be knowing. What? 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 Here's that. I know you be knowing. Like, I mean, honestly, like you know, you to more a, a more extreme level. But you don't want some of these even rappers. They'd be like, you know, let me just chill off act because they know I might actually say some shit that the the fans don't know. But you know some other other shit that I wouldn't even know that will fuck everybody up. So that's why I would imagine they probably play you a little different than they would play me. All kind of old snake ass shit niggas in did, bro. 
You know, but one thing about me, I always stood alone. I did my own contracts. Duck, you know, duck my own business. Did my own deals. You know what I'm saying? Between me and my artists. But the rest of these niggas, bro, these niggas be mad because of where they was trying to get to and never happened for them. Mm. And I got a few things that didn't happen for me. But I ain't mad about it. I'm just thankful for the things that did. You know shit. what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't, you know, I'm not mad about this shit, bro. Because I've had some things that I wanted to happen that didn't. And then I've had some unexpected shit that happened for me that I would, you know, that, you know, that was ten was tenfold of what I needed to happen. So Yo, you know, yeah. in, in anything I say, he gonna try to down. Yeah. But what I will say, I'ma start saying some shit that a nigga can't down. Yo, I'm yo, whack. Whack. I don't respectfully. I'm gonna ask you about this, and you know, because I love both of y'all. I do love both of y'all. And, and, and I'm one. I think you've chilled out on it. I, I think you only react to it when somebody try to get at you. But I had 21 on my podcast, and 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 I'm gonna just be honest. Like it, it felt like he was just saying. Bro, I wasn't trying to get at whack. It was some shit that was going on. This is the problem. This is what I don't like. Everybody want to label me as the problem. The problem, bro. I'll be on defense, bro. I don't be fucking with niggas. But what happens at is is the shit I do when I respond. I'm an Aries, bro. I'm, I'm an extremist. The shit I do, they be like, oh, you didn't have to go that far. Nah, nigga, don't come fucking with me, bro. Dude started that. I ain't had no issues with the nigga. He started that shit. And what thing you know about me at, I always got something under my belt, bro. Always. Now, that's some scary always shit, though, man. Always something I know. Now, I just don't say nothing because it really ain't my business. But, you know, once you get on that type of shit, then you just made it my business. This nigga now was on. You know what I'm saying? All these niggas I do, leave me the fuck alone. He came playing with me. Did I think it was intentional? How he came playing with me? No. But, bro... The egos of men are always, always lead to some bullshit. I'm glad you said that. The last thing I'm going to ask you before I get you over this bitch is, is because you write about the ego of men. Because I look at the takeoffs. I don't, do I think he meant? No. But he can't play with me on the stage. I'm who the fuck I am, bro. Okay. I'm going to play with you back. So, so let me ask you this question. Because... I look at Takeoff dying as the ego of men. It wasn't him, but it was other men who got into an argument. Yeah, and nobody could. I'm puzzled about that shit, bro. I don't know what the fuck. You know, Takeoff is a dude, man. That, you know, he was like. Takeoff was like Kendrick Lamar, bro. He don't fuck with nobody. And I think Kendrick a little dirtier than him because Kendrick didn't release a, a little controversial diss song or two. You know what I'm saying? Indirectly. Yeah. Right? But, you know, dude, all he do is smoke his weed, bro, kick it with his shorty, and, and, yeah. and rap. Like, Yo, in situations crazy. like that, whack, like, because I know, like, again, I know the way, especially if a nigga try you on Clubhouse, you go crazy. But, like, in person and when you in those environments, right? That's what it's going to be, bro. Somebody going to die. Do you walk yeah, away from I those situations, no though? Rapper, bro. I ain't worried about all that. Do you walk away from those situations, though? I'm not walking away from nothing that's in front of me, bro. Wherever a nigga want to take it, we going to go there. You want to live, we live. You want to go to jail, we go to jail. You want to die, nigga, we can play that. Other than that, I'm going I'm to attend to my business, bro. Mm. You know? I ain't look. listen. I ain't looking for no problems. I ain't running from shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm some real shit. I ain't out here looking to chase a motherfucker down or don't nobody owe me no motherfucking money. You know what I'm saying? By the way, the don't reason don't me no money, or no shit like that. We in a good space. I got three businesses that ain't got nothing to do with music launching next year. So, me and my artists, we got three different streams of revenue. Cause whatever I do, whether they're directly involved anyway, they eat anyway. That's what we do. We a family, so you know I ain't tripping, bro. The, by the way, the, 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 you were talking about I before. Just bought me a motherfucking flat in London, and I'm chilling, my nigga. Mm. Yo, by the way, the reason okay. why you. The reason why you started talking about that was that checking in shit, and that checking in shit really come from a lot of people feel like I don't, I don't, but see, see, that was, you know, and I don't know how that shit got misconstrued, bro. Like when I come to New York, I go to Florida, wherever Atlanta, 
I call the people I fuck with them, bro. I be out there Wednesday, be out there whatever, 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 right? They may tell me, hey, why? You know the hookah lounge you go to or that spot? Yeah, it's been kind of hot over there. Something happened. Niggas been getting robbed or whatever. Watch yourself. Or you know what? I'm going to be out of town, so get with the homie if you need something. You know what I'm saying? Mm. This ain't about no, you got to come to us or else and all that crazy shit. Is, is it somewhere be like, yo, you in town, give us 10000 we make sure you leave town nah, safely? bro, I ain't never been with that. And I got a lot of youngsters that come out here and they tell you from different regions, bro. That ain't that ain't what a nigga did, bro. They ain't about that, bro. When I land in their backyard, they make sure I'm straight. Whatever I need or whatever it is, they make sure I got that. I, I don't know where that's coming from, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know? I don't. Personally, I don't. I, I ain't, you know, I, you've been around me, bro. I ain't into that. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I've, ne I've never seen that with you. But but you, you do know that's the type of thinking when people are thinking like, yo, damn, why take off in Quavo with the Prince family? Maybe they had to check in. You know what I mean? Maybe maybe that's part of the check-in process. Feel me? I, bro, listen, I, I'm going to be real. Let's be real, bro. Those kids, <clears throat> when they were born, they were born rich. Hey, daddy always been, you know, about his bag. Can't take that from me. So, oh, you talking about the, the, the Prince family, right? Yeah, the whole persona of, and not even Josh. Josh Prince always got the same demeanor. The nigga just cool and he quiet. They do his shit. He don't play tough. I don't believe the man no punk, you know. But I don't think he pressing niggas to check in and do all this. I believe the man is a British man. But Junior, bro. He's watching a lot of movies or some shit. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I watched the video. He was backing down my man Joe Button. I was like, damn. If, if, if Joe backing down, and I seen, if I seen a call Joe a decade ago. The asshole Joe that was moving around here the way he moved around, he had got a different response. To Joe, Joe ain't really in that space no more. You know, it. you know what I'm saying? Joe ain't in that space. I bet you this. I got a hundred thousand. Joe whoop his ass. I don't know, man. I, you know, from what everybody tell me, man, that mob tie shit is, is, is deep, man. That shit is a movement. It's movement. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's wounded right now, and I think a lot of people don't want to have nothing to do with it. But you know, if if, if, if you go to Houston, think, if you go to Houston, would you hit up the Fr Prince family, like you know, let them know you? I'm on your team. North, bro. All my strength is south and west. Hit them up for what? To make sure you good. For what? I don't gotta hit them niggas up. I ain't never hit them niggas up. I've been going to Houston 20 years. Bro, you know how big Houston is? You really don't believe that one man runs Houston or New York or LA or Atlanta. That's just Not LA or Atlanta, but I'm gonna be honest. The only nigga I've ever heard about with Houston is Jay Prince and Mom. I'm gonna be and honest. You know why? Because of the industry. I bet you Houston can tell you about some other stories in Houston. Nigga, my man, tell the truth. Nigga, they ain't no walking apart. Man, and you know? after after that young boy shit with the keys, I was like, all right, all right, they got it. I think they run Houston. Like, if they charge you a fee, you niggas mean? just got to pay. Young boy didn't go for that shit. Young boy went crazy. What did you see? No, nah, no, nah, he did go crazy, but that was kind of spooky. A nigga, like, a nigga just hold your keys like, yeah, you got robbed. I got the shit. That shit was a little spooky. <laughs> I ain't gonna I mean, lie to you. Know, like. Robbed and somebody stole something from a location. Which one was? Ah, right, yeah, he, someone stole something from a location. But the yeah. mere fact that he had access to the nigga who stole some shit, that's a little too spooky for me. I ain't gonna lie to you. I mean, that's just people who know this and know that know this. But you know, at the end of the day, I tell you what, watch this. You see, Sauce Walker got on a line. Huh? He in Houston. Another area. You seen a nigga? You seen a nigga fucking with sauce? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I thought sauce reported to them though. I'm gonna be honest, like real talk. Like, I mean, no wrong. Sauce ain't that nigga got a red flag in his back. Yeah, yo, yo. Remember when um back in the day, uh, Steve Francis got his chain took or some shit like that, and I remember Sauce Walker was in that club. Jay Prince got the shit back, and and I, I just thought every. Oh, you know how many? You know how many chains would come to us? That we had nothing to do with because they know we could get to the people so they can get the bag. Mm. You get a little grimy nigga bro out of the Bronx and that's a nigga rob a nigga by the W, right? 
he, he don't want to wear it. He want the money. He want to sell it back to you. He don't know the manager. He don't know the motherfuckers over there to call. But guess what? His big homie is whack 100. What are you going to do? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I saw that B. I, you know, because y'all trying to put it like they Prince them sending niggas out to rob them niggas. Y'all should put that jacket on them. I don't think they doing that kind of shit. I ain't gonna, you know, the, the, the way shit look. I think they, I think they mediating. I think they just mediating and, and, and you know, making sure everybody's straight. You know, hey, he get what he got coming, get his shit back. Nigga want a bag and that's it. Yo, when I hear mob ties, I think about somebody who run the entire fucking well, maybe not the state of Texas, but like Houston. Yeah, yeah. Like no, this. I'm not gonna say he got no say so what he got say so in, bro. I ain't, but I know a lot of people from Houston, from Dallas and all that. You know, everybody reach only goes so far until you need the extended reach of your comrades, you know, that's outside of you. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I you know, feel you. I'm in Chicago, my reach goes so far. But my people in Chicago, my reach is, is their reach. You know what I'm saying? Florida, whatever it is, Atlanta, whatever it is. You know, we all, bro, you got to remember the opposition is everywhere. If you fuck with them and the niggas you fuck with, enemies is around the corner. And, right, look, you got Gang A, okay? They fuck with Gang A. And I know it's on. You know what I'm going to do if I ain't already did it? I'm going to go tie in with Gang B. Mm. This is all niggas do. You in LA, you get into it with some blood niggas, and they trying to press you, you go hire some cryptics. Oh. This is what we did, you know, about 15 years ago. What we had at one time is a table to where niggas couldn't use us against each other. If it was some friction, we would sit out and, you know, figure it out. It was me and these other niggas was tripping on them, but I knew them niggas would come to the table and figure it out. No harm, no foul. You know what I'm saying? So that's all that is. But I think the industry finna take a change. Shit. I think the civilians of the energy uh, of the industry is about to really change the game and say, yo, fuck all that shit. Fuck you niggas. We'll pull this iPhone out and record you niggas. That's what I think for that. Yeah, all that spooky shit's out the window, man, because, like, like, like the police got all the evidence in the world, man. They watch just lot of niggas up, I think. I mean, bro, you got to remember, bro, look, outside of the iPhones, right, and me and you both know that was, a, like, a hotel bowling alley shit. It's hardwired cameras in that bitch. The police got that footage. Oh, yeah, they got it. We just look. We just look they got that shit in 4K. You know, so... Go in the mall and say, hey, motherfucker, real loud, and watch what everybody do. Phone out, up. Yeah. You know, so whatever you do in that aspect, you're going to win and lose. You might win right there with that, but you're going to lose in a key to 30 years. Damn. Shit. You know, but, you know for, for one, though, you know, I ain't got no ill feelings towards future. I was just talking about a real situation that happened. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Yeah, I well, man, I, I hope I hope nothing come out of this, man. But like you know, like people was just trying to tell me like you a liar, and I was just like, man, whack. I never know whack to be a liar. I'm gonna go on my phone and make this with this my other phone. I gotta find because I still might have the records of when the nigga sent the information to send to the gentleman that paid him. Mmm. I should if it ain't this one in my other phone, I'm gonna go check it. Probably my iPhone six. I still got that motherfucker. I seen it the other day. I'm going to go in there and check it. I, you know, I keep all my... I'm like the nigga camera. <laughs> I keep all my phones. <laughs> all right, man. Well, well, if you need me to put anything out there, man, just hit me, all right? Yeah, little dude, um, they hit me. I need to holler at him. All right, all right, all right. I'm, 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 I'm going to put us I'm, I'm gonna put us on the call like right when I get off, all right? All right, all right, all right. Holy chat. Damn, that was the WAC 100, like, hour. This dude in here, the uh, thing his name is like Eban Fields. I've I've heard about his name a bunch before. I know, guess him at Wack ain't banging like that no more. Anyway, wow, that's exhausting. I don't even know who tells the truth. I kind of believe Wack. All right, you wanna know what I really believe? Something happened. I think there was a confrontation. I don't think Future was running. I think maybe Future was avoiding him. Like yo, bro, like I'm in the like bro, I ain't trying to. Whatever, whatever, and and whack like whack like a pit bull, like he going nah. Let's talk about this now, like yo, nah, nah, nephew, nah. Like I think that's what happened. 
I don't think he was running this and third. I think maybe he avoided him, right? Um, remember, this is the airport. Also, Future's a nigga who flies. He's, that time he's flying, go to perform all these songs he got. Um, yeah, but the way Wack represented the story now is like, yeah, like, bro, we had that nigga skedaddling, right? I do think the incident happened. So that's what I'm trying to say. I think the incident happened where they saw each other in the airport. Now, I know Big U said he never was in the airport with Wack. I'm not even going to comment. I think their relationship is, is a little weird. Like, I don't know. But I think he probably saw Future. Future running, that's a stretch, I think. But what do I know? I don't have the video. Anyway. Damn. All right, people. What else been going on? Let me see. Did y'all watch this fight? Got to protect oh, okay. yourself there, there, Didge. Can't just walk in on. And then Floyd turns his back. Coach Mouse, don't get fed. Y'all got to, like, if y'all didn't watch this fight between Floyd Mayweather and Deji. Deji's looking a bit more tired oh, now. Here comes Floyd, big hook. Right hand, uppercut on Deji. That hurt him. Left hook, that hurt him. Right hand, left hook. Oh, my goodness. No, it's a bit and early. Okay. First of all, my full opinion is that Floyd isn't trying to hurt the people he's fighting in exhibitions. Floyd was his accuracy, even though, number one, his stance wasn't um, like it normally is. He has his hand down a bunch of times. He's doing shit like this. He's dancing. He's like he's like faking with one hand. Like That means he's not coming with a full power, hitting with the other. I think Floyd was just trying to put on a show. You know, this guy has zero chance of beating him. I think he knew that people, when he fought um, Logan Paul, people didn't fuck with that too much. Because I think because Logan Paul is so much bigger than him, he was actually boxing Logan Paul. You know what I mean? And um, when Floyd fights, the show, uh, um, the showcase factor of it and, and the um, entertainment factor of it has never been high. If you follow Floyd's career, you never follow him for exciting fights. You follow him for a real technical drag out fest and he's gonna piece a nigga together in about ninth round and nigga looking really drawn out maybe get a tko but at the end of it you know floyd landed about like twice the amount of punches somebody landed and i think floyd in these exhibitions i think that's why he's picking these guys that really can't fight compared to him like deji and he's just like yo let me just fucking play around because i'm trying to entertain so i don't think he's trying to hurt the guy and if he is Floyd punches hit like pillows. Facts. It's either either he hits like pillows or he's really not trying to hurt him. I'm going to think the latter. You know what I mean? Because he can 